Words are hard sometimes. The Bruins hoping to cock the Canucks, <laughs> if you will. Did you see any of the football game this morning? Uh, I did not. I'll, I'll be honest. I started was... singing Country Roads <laughs> as a tribute to Americana culture. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. No, I didn't see any of the game. I, I was too busy uh, booking a trip to Florida because I've already had it with this cooler weather. <laughs> well, luckily I slept in and got to enjoy a little taste of sunshine early this afternoon. I mean, yeah, it was another damn start this morning. At least the sun came out, but boy, what a shock to the system. Uh, temperature is some 20 degrees cooler this afternoon. Can't wait for that golf trip I booked tomorrow. <laughs> You're playing golf tomorrow? I'm gonna bundle, bundle up. up. <laughs> bundle up. You're going to need it. Let's take a look at your 24 as we make our way through the evening and into the overnight evening plans. Yeah, grab the thicker jacket because it is already chilly out there and temperatures are only going to continue to drop as we make our way through the evening and into the overnight. In fact, we're going to see overnight lows dropping down into the upper 20s in some of the colder spots near 30 here in the valley. Good news though, as we wake up tomorrow morning, at least we're waking up to sunshine. Got to try and find the positive and it will be sunshine basically from start to finish tomorrow. But temperatures are actually going to be even cooler than they were today. We got into the lower 50s this afternoon. That's right around where we should be. Average high is 50. High temperatures tomorrow, probably only going to be in the lower 40s. So we're going to be running a good five plus degrees below normal for this time of year. Tomorrow, we're still going to deal with that breeze. But then as the sun sets tomorrow night, the winds will diminish. And with clear skies and calm winds tomorrow night, we're talking about temperatures in some of the colder spots, probably dipping down into the teens. So as far as tonight is concerned, upper 20s, lower 30s, starting off in the upper 20s and lower 30s tomorrow morning, only getting into the lower 40s tomorrow afternoon. At least we'll see a lot of sunshine, but it is going to be a blustery day around here tomorrow. So clearing, cold tonight, dry but chilly for both Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday, though, we're going to be watching our next storm system. And actually, it looks like the precipitation comes in late Tuesday night and through the day on Wednesday. And it could be cold enough in the beginning that this could start out as perhaps a wintry mix, maybe even a period of wet snow before transitioning over to rain as we head through the day on Wednesday. But temperatures certainly running below normal for the next three days. 44 tomorrow, 43 Tuesday, 42 as we head on into the day on Wednesday. So this chillier air mass, it's not going anywhere anytime soon. And then we're watching our next weather maker for the middle part of the week. Looks like late Tuesday night into the day on Wednesday. Looks like there could be a period of wet snow as the precipitation begins in the early morning hours of Wednesday. Best chance for that looks to be in the hills and higher elevations. But even here in the valley, we could see some flakes mixing in. As the day breaks and warmer air moves in, we do transition over to rain. So this is something we will be watching as we head through the next couple of days. But I would plan on Wednesday certainly being a wet day around here. And the other story is going to be the temperatures. They're not going anywhere. We're really looking at temperatures running well below normal for this time of year, right on through the week, perhaps even through next week. And the good news is, though, once that storm system departs on Wednesday night, it looks like dry weather is going to be with us for several days. That's Check Your Forecast. Have a great evening. Matt, over to you. Don, thanks.